Meet the Post family. They live in Post Falls, Idaho. They're homeowners, and each June they receive a property assessment notice from Kootenai County, along with all other property owners in Post Falls. In December, they also receive a property tax payment notice from Kootenai County. The property taxes on the Post's property tax notice reflects a portion of each local taxing district's budget and is based on the assessed value set by the Kootenai County Assessor's Office. Let's assume three houses each have an assessed value of $100,000 and the combined budgets of all of the local taxing districts is $900. To calculate each property's tax rate, the $900 total combined budget is divided by the combined assessed value of all three properties, equaling $0.003. That means each property owner would pay .003 times the $100,000 assessed value of their property or $300. Each property pays their share of taxes based on their assessment value. This looks simple, but let's see what happens the following year when assessed values change but the total combined taxing district's budget stays the same at $900. House number one is now assessed $150,000, house number two at $100,000, and house number three at $70,000. House number one's assessed value increased by 50%, house number two's value stayed the same, and house number three decreased by 30%. In this scenario, the overall average assessment value increased to $106,667, or 6.67%. Because of this change, a new tax rate must be calculated. $900 divided by the combined assessed value of all three properties equaling $0.00281250. That means in year two, house one will pay $421.88 in taxes, house two will pay $281.25, and house three will pay $196.87. The county still collects the same $900 needed for the taxing district's budgets, but House 1 now will pay $121.88 more, House 2 will pay $18.75 less, and House 3 will pay $103.13 less in taxes than compared to Year 1. As you can see, how your taxes change each year depends on how your property assessment changes in comparison to the average assessment changes in the taxing district. Here, the average assessment increased by 6.67% in year two. Because the assessments for houses two and three were less than the average, they had a tax decrease, even though the total amount of tax dollars collected stayed the same. House one, with a 50% increase in assessment value, had a significant increase in taxes. In the real world, the assessed value of your home is compared not just to other residential property, but to the assessed value of all property types, including commercial and manufacturing. If residential values increase faster than commercial values, the residential owners will pay more in taxes even when the taxing district budgets are not increased, just like property one. On behalf of the City of Post Falls, thank you for taking the time to gain insight into how our local taxes work.